Hello lovely friends, here's a sneak peek of today's Cinderella inspired Dutch poor painting. Thank you so much to all my wonderful subscribers. Your love and support keeps this channel going. Today, my dear friend Kim and I have got together and we've decided to do a Cinderella painting for our lovely friend Byron. So this is for you, dear Byron. It is inspired by your love of Cinderella. And here's the color palette that you chose. You wanted some silvery white, some light blue, and a little bit of dark blue. So I've chosen the base to be the dark blue but don't worry it won't be too much dark blue showing through it's more the base so the rest of the paints can glide on top of it i can't wait to see what the amazing kim from kim's art alchemy is going to create today she always comes up with something so intriguing so what have you got for us today i'll put her link in the description below and in the comments as usual so let's dive into the world of cinderella the famous German word for Cinderella is Aschen Putel, which means Cindergal or Ashtraygal, or one which clears ashes from the fireplace. As I discovered more about Cinderella, I was reminded of Cinderella's resilience and the grace in the face of cruelty and the prince's unwavering pursuit of true love. The first version of Cinderella version made by Charles Perrault in 1697 as the most well-known version. Later on, the darker and more detailed version was created in 1812 and then the Disney version was created in 1950 and that's the classic favourite. As I begin to bring the magic of Cinderella to life through the fluidity and the beauty of the Dutch pour technique, which was originally created by Rinska Downer. So just enjoy the music as you watch this Dutch pour painting unfold and relax and enjoy. And I shall see you towards the end for the dried results.
thought using my butterfly tool added a bit of elegance and grace to this painting and the colours that Byron suggested really seemed to have that real Cinderella feel to it. So I'd love to know what you think. Do you see Cinderella? Can you see a butterfly? Can you see her beautiful dress waving in the wind or get a sense of that? So this is an abstract piece that really was inspired by Cinderella and I really felt that it had some of her grace and some of her beauty. So I just want to say thank you to Byron for this lovely challenge for me and Kim. Check out Byron's channel. He does some amazing impressions. He's such a lovely guy and I'll put his link in the description below. So now it's almost time to have a look at Kim's piece. I just want to show you now the close up and the dried results of this Cinderella painting today. If you've enjoyed this painting and this story and these colours, please give me a subscribe and a like. If you were to share and quote me on social media, I really, really do appreciate it. And thank you to everyone who does. Thank you to my wonderful subscribers. I hope you're having a good day and don't forget that your art is a piece of you. Thank you for being here. I hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye.